Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dhere Bagga and today I'll be showing you one of the games that I played with the Karo Khan defense. It starts off with c4, my opponent playing that. I played with the c6, open goes with knight to c3 playing the English opening. I went with d5, opponent takes here, I take back. And now opponent plays e3, trying to develop the light square bishop. I go with a6, preventing the development of the bishop to b5. Here, open plays a3. Uh, maybe in the future, I am planning to play b4, so trying to prevent that. But it's a passive move in the opening. Uh, I'll switch to the analysis mode as well, so that you can parallelly see the engine evaluations. Here, I went with knight to f6. Open goes for b4, trying to be more aggressive from the queen side. I went with bishop f5, trying to develop the light square bishop. Open plays knight f3. Here comes knight to c6. And finally, d4 by the opponent. I went with rook on the open file, c file, rook c8. Opponent goes with knight to a4. Uh, and here I played pawn forward e6. Let's see why computer is suggesting to take on the pawn here. I am also interested in watching this. After takes, oh, bishop comes onto the c file. Opponent has to save the queen, and then you can take the knight. Opponent cannot take back because you lose the rook. Uh, rook takes the bishop, so that's a line which we can enter. So have to be, this is a tricky line. Can we note it for the next time I play this? Okay. Uh, I went with e6 instead. Opponent goes with knight to c5. And I trade off the knight from a bishop, which wasn't developed earlier. And then I place my knight onto e4. A solid central square. Opponent goes with queen to b3. And here I got my queen on a5, giving a check. Open saves it with the knight, not with the uh, bishop. Uh, and here I place my rook on to b8. Again, computer suggesting you can go for center pawn break. Because if the open does take, weakens up uh, the c pawn. And then your queen is into the activity as well. Uh, but I played rook to b8. And then open plays uh, bishop d3. Uh, I castle here. And open plays uh, rook to a2. Now here in this position, I decided to attack the rook with my uh, knight, placing the knight on c3. Uh, and open takes the bishop, I take the rook, and now open can take my knight. Uh, but decides to take the pawn uh, and giving me a check. I try to save my uh, king for the time being, open takes, and then I take, should have taken the first go. Uh, open castles, and now I went with g6, open plays f4 trying to be more aggressive from the side now because open maybe willing to put the rook onto h file by doing a rook lift i sidestep with the king to g7 and the ideas of putting my rook onto the h file uh, open plays queen to c2 uh, the idea is simple to prevent uh, to uh, protect the knight meanwhile the open develops the bishop onto b2 so i went with rook h8 here open places bishop on the diagonal now open's agenda would be to displace this pawn for which open can give me extra pawn uh, to be taken as well. Uh, I went with a knight to e7. Open pushes the pawn as expected. I went with a rook to h7 so that even if the pawn trades do happen, I can simply move away the king and uh, there will be no threats of losing the rook. Open plays f5 now and I take with the pawn. Open takes back. And now I take with the knight asking open to sack the rook if the opponent is willing to break open the pawn structure. Open plays a knight to f3, missing out on a fork, which allows me to grab the rook eventually. And now comes a knight to g5. Open is trying to take the pawn next. And I thought, okay, let me just save it uh, with my rook, not with the queen. And open takes on the uh, rook there. I take back with the king. I'm okay with this position. Open takes the knight, and here comes uh, queen to d2, attacking the bishop. Bishop goes back. I grab a pawn with a check. Open goes back. And now I place my queen on e4 because the only way open can give me a check could have been from the light diagonal uh, or just coming up and then putting the uh, the queen here. And if my queen is on e4, uh, open cannot give me a check and I can take the queen, exchange the queen. Open pushes e6, I take it. Open now tries to push other pawns. I started pushing the d pawn with support of the queen, of course. And here comes bishop to a3. And in this position, I was thinking, what should I do? Should I save the rook? Because if I try to, that's a bad move. Uh, because queen takes can lead to a draw for sure. Uh, some repetition can happen from here. 
and that would be troublesome. I don't want to get into that line. Uh, so sorry, uh, we were here. Yeah, so instead, I thought, let me give away the rook. I'll just put my king on g8, up and take the rook. I take back the bishop, and I'm ahead in the game. Thanks to the pawn uh, advanced already. Open comes with the queen, f6. I, I give a check, and then I push the pawn. Uh, they can move, uh, computer says it can be drawn from here. Uh, but I move, and now open tries to give me a check from d4. Uh, I, can, I pushed f6. Some checks come up. And then eventually I got broke, rid of the checks and then came out the queen. Open continues to give me a couple of more checks until I escape finally by placing my queen onto d6. A force exchange of the queen because it's a check as well. Open has to take. And after that, it's a simple end game and open resigns over here. So uh, trying to simplify stuff when I am ahead in the game. Uh, giving away the rook as well for the bishop uh, was completely fine because I knew the winning position was in my control. I hope you enjoyed the video. Do let me know your feedback. Keep watching and sharing. Please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already by now. And I shall see you tomorrow with some interesting and instructive content like always. Thanks for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.